this is probably the most under underrated feature that a game engine have. Um, if you come from Unity, it's not new to you, but if you come from Blender Game Engine and maybe even Godot, because only recently Godot had this option and it's still like improving the usability of it and all that, uh, it's not um, as smooth as it is in Cave or Unity, is the option to edit the game while the game is running. So right now I'm making like the horse inverse kinematics for the feet of my horse in my Shadow of the Colossus game. And I wanted, I, I had to test this because there are so many things that could go wrong um, in this mechanic. And it would be like an absolutely nightmare if I'd not had the option to um, edit the game in real time like literally right now the game is running you can see here stop game so it is re literally running and i needed to test this thing i needed to figure out if the feet ik is working just fine and uh, what i need to improve like i'm literally in the middle of the work so you can see it does have some uh smoothing i'm improving it but like while i was making i decided to stop developing the code and record this video because it's such a, uh, a nice feature and i wish i had this back then in blender game engine when i was still using it because well we can duplicate objects you can do all sorts of crazy stuff um and the engine will allow you to do this so you can do crazy tests as well like what if i'm in the edge here huh i'm, I'm seeing if this is good or not uh, i'm also toggling the physics visual physics visualization to see like the capsule of the the horse to see the collisions if it's all right or not it can delete an object and all that so this is very useful and of course if i disable if i stop the game uh it discards the changes that i made and so i can completely destroy the scene without worrying about uh having to restore it back to hit re-implement it back so for example right now i do have like a corner case the horse goes to this weird position if I have like this hole because the way I implemented this um, and I can very easily test things to understand how it works and by the way you notice that I had like some debug information I'm literally uh, drawing this using Python here in the script of Cave Engine Cave Engine is script away by in Python no it's not slow it's entirely written in C++ just the script in, is in Python, which makes you actually be like a faster game developer because you can really go crazy here and quickly iterate, write your Python script, no need to wait for things to compile. So yeah, this is like a quick feature. Again, if you came from Unity, it's not new to you, but if you came from Blender, like I did, like Blender Game Engine, again, this is huge, right? I don't need to have any extra code that can directly edit my stuff here. Um, and yeah, this is good. By the way, uh, I'm planning to release Cave 1.2 with all the new features such as the inverse kinematics. You can see that I'm really using the inverse kinematics a lot. This horse here, let me open this in Blender real quick. Uh, I'm using the inverse kinematics to first align like the, the root bones here on top of the horse to the ground and then I'm using the reverse kinematics on each individual foot to uh, of course I'm using auto IK in Blender which is bad Cave is doing a better job right now um, but I'm using the individual foot to align them to the ground so there's a lot of control you can do there's terrain system anyways so if you're not subscribed to this channel subscribe to see more about Cave Engine and about the game I'm making like a Shadow of the Colossus like game and uh, then I've showed this in the last video, but in the next video, hopefully we will have a fully fleshed horse so I can mount on it. And right now I can't, as you can see, I'm, um, I'm just starting to develop it. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to rock around the world. And yes, the game is running and I can still uh, do stuff. Of course, not now because the, the mouse is locked, but uh, you get the idea and that's it. So make sure to subscribe to see more and I see you soon.